Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and here with me is Mario Tucker of Private Home Care. And we've been talking about the services that Private Home Care provides. I want to sort of take a step back and look at the sure. context. There's nursing homes, and we're kind of familiar with you know the nursing home setup. But obviously, with in in home care, what's the main distinction? Like why one versus the other, or yeah. how does one make those decisions? That's a, and that's a great question. So there are obviously situations where nursing homes are appropriate, mm -hmm. um, and ultimately it's up to the family to, to make that decision. But what we're here to do is just kind of provide an alternative to that, or um, an alternative as well to assisted living, so that people can remain at home and age naturally at home, because mm -hmm. Really, truly speaking, about 90% or more of someone's needs will be non-medical. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of where we come in. Mm -hmm. Someone that has difficulty walking doesn't necessarily need to be in a place other than home. They mm -hmm. just need assistance walking. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a non-medical service. But mm -hmm. obviously, without that assistance, that person can't thrive mm -hmm. at, at home. Someone that can't drive doesn't necessarily mean that they, um, you know, need to not be home. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. th that's kind of the distinction The distinction there. Mm -hmm. And I like the, the idea how you put it sort of in a natural way because I think as anyone sort of ages, unless the doctor is saying you have to be in a medical setting, mm -hmm. you're going to be most comfortable in right. your home environment. Yeah. And we obviously, I mean, we have a relationship with uh, now, since so many people want to remain at home, mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of companies that will provide nursing nurses, mm -hmm. that will provide, um, even doctors can visit mm -hmm. a home, believe it or not. So um, we do provide those resources for our clients. So in the event that someone does require a more skilled level of care, for example, someone that needs um, to have a catheter changed, mm -hmm. or we can you know, coordinate that with other companies so that they can still have their, their home care, they can still have someone with them, mm -hmm. um, typically full time. Sure. And they can also get, you know, have access to these other resources that can really help make the most out of, out of that. So a great thing about our company is all of our clients have a care coordinator mm -hmm. and we have a, a small caseload per care coordinator. So for example, I have 15 clients that I manage. They're all full time, they're all live in. I know all of them, mm -hmm. and I also know all of their caregivers. Mm -hmm. Their families know me. They can always talk to me. They can always reach out at any time. I know what's going on in the home, mm -hmm. and you know that's really important mm -hmm. because that's how we started this company. That's right. what. Well, speaking of how you started the company, tell me a bit about it. This is family, a family started business. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, we're locally owned and operated. My, um, I'm actually I'm Bulgarian originally, so this is a model that's very familiar to us. Um, having your family at home. Mm -hmm. um, my aunt has a similar company um, that services many, many clients, hmm. many more than we do. Uh, and they're all, they're all live-in mm -hmm. as well. So it's something that we're very familiar with. Our caregivers are um, either CNAs. Uh, about 40% of our live-in staff actually have a bachelor's degree or the wow. equivalent thereof. We also pay our caregivers a lot better um, than about 35% more than what is typically common mm -hmm. in, in this industry. So we've, we find that to be and very why this And er why this area? Is it just something that, uh, in terms of industry and a field to get into sure. for your family, was it something near and dear? Or is it just, you mentioned culturally, this is something very sort of natural mm -hmm. uh, from your background. Is that why? Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, I guess it's a combination of all of those, all of those factors. And, and St. Louis is really, the metro area is a great, I mean, there. It's an aging population. Mm -hmm. It's a. It's a great market. It's a great. Um, it's an area where people do need these. Mm -hmm. These resources and, really, dem from a demographic standpoint, the United States hasn't really hit mm -hmm. the point where we're gonna. We haven't even seen, I guess, the climax of this. Right. Of this of industry that population and of, this of people. Need, mm -hmm. Right. And especially people wanting to stay at home. Mm -hmm. So we just think that our model is. Has, it works well with, with a lot of individuals. Yeah, so. well, if you want to find out more information, you head to the website. It's privatehomecarestl.com. From there, you can get a phone number, you can call to find out more, but also a lot of information listed about what type of services they provide from the minimum to all the way up to the maximum, um, and information about how maybe insur insurance and payment and other things work with that. So again, visit private homecarestl.com and Mario Tucker thank you again thank you so much for having me for being here thank you, thank you. all right well there's more STL live right after this please stay with us